Good morning boys and girls, it's Mrs Hampson here today and it's a Wednesday, it's our first day of learning from home. So it's a bit strange, I'd much prefer to be in school in front of all of you boys and girls. But you know, I've chosen to read us a story to try and cheer us up. And it's all about pets because I know quite a few of you have got some pets at home. And this story is called Jacob O'Reilly Wants a Pet. Now there's lots of pets that we would really like, but sometimes we can't have all the pets that we want. So let's see which pet Jacob would like to have. So we've got our front cover and then our first pages. We've got lots of things to look on there. Can you see the two dancing frogs? Imagine having two frogs. That would be rather unusual, wouldn't it? And which other one is on there that you would like? I've got a little dog. And he does like big bones, just like the one on this picture. Let's see what our front page says. So it says, Jacob O'Reilly wants a pet. And the author is Lynn Rickards and Lee Wildish. So there, who wrote the book? Are we ready? So it says, I'll just move left a bit. It says, Jacob O'Reilly had tried all he could to convince mum and dad he'd ever be ever so good. An absolute angel, the greatest son yet, if only they'd let him have one little pet. So here he is. He's thinking, I will be the absolute best son in the world if you'll just let me have a pet. He asked for a dog, but Dad didn't want fleas. He tried for a cat, but the fur made Mum sneeze. He went through a list of small rodents for sale, but the very idea turned Mum and Dad pale. Gosh, don't get keen. If I'm not allowed gerbils or hamsters, or mice. Don't you think an iguana would be nice? He'd be awfully quiet and, and eat all the books and he'd never leave fur or dead birds on the rooks. Oh please, can I have a pet? Oh, look at all those fleas, your mum and dad would be so cross wouldn't they? To have all those fleas jumping around. I don't think I'd like an iguana though. An emu can make a fine pet. Have you heard? It is said to be quite an affectionate bird. And although it is tall and needs quite a large nest, it keeps to itself and is never a pest. Oh, please, can I have a pet? What a huge bird that is. A walrus can be an ideal sort of pet. He would live in the bathtub to keep himself wet. I'd comb out his whiskers and scrub his broad back and brush those big tusks when he'd finished his snack. Oh, please, can I have a pet? That said, must be a huge bath to be able to share with a walrus. Well, Mum and Dad thought about all these suggestions while waiting for Jacob to run out of questions. They pondered their choices and finally said, Why not try the pet sitting business instead? So instead of him getting his own pets, his Mummy and Daddy have suggested that he goes to look after other people's. The very next day, Jacob put up a sign. Come on, come on all. Any number is fine. I'll take care of your pets while you take a nice break. And they'll have a great time here with pet sitter Jake. I was calling himself Jake now instead of Jacob, isn't it? Pet sitter Jake at your service. It says it's some more writing at the bottom there. Gosh, he's going to have his hands full. In no time at all, Jacob had a full house, 
four dogs, five hamsters, six cats and a mouse. A python called Morris lay curled on his bed. And two donkeys, five sheep and, and one horse filled the shed. The kitchen was hopping with rabbits and hares and somebody's zebra was blocking the stairs. At feeding time, Jacob was run off his feet. Some pets wanted salad and some wanted meat. They needed a hose down when dinner was done and then it was time for a marathon run. Look at those sheep, they're funny. <laughs> When two weeks were up and the owners came back, the house was turned into a flea-bitten shack. The minute the last pet whizzed off into town, pet sitter Jake went and pulled his sign down. Why do you think he's pulled his sign down? Do you think he's happy that they've all gone home? That's when he noticed a rather fine snail. Just sitting contentedly there on a nail. Hello there, smiled Jacob. I don't think we've met. And finally Jacob had just the right pet. A snail as a pet. <gasps> That's a really good idea, isn't it? Look at all the things he's decided to do with his pet snail. Lots and lots of things. Oh, I wonder if you've ever had a pet from the garden, like a pet ladybird or a pet spider, maybe a pet slug, or maybe even just like Jacob, decided to have a pet snail. But don't bring them inside because they don't like the warmth. They like to stay outside where you can put them with sticks and leaves and little stones to make a little house. Although at the moment it's a little bit cold so you won't find very many snails outside. So I hope you've enjoyed my story and I hope you're keeping very well and very safe. If you'd like to do some writing that would be wonderful. Maybe you could write a sentence for me about your favourite pet. Maybe even a naughty pet that you've got at home because we do love reading your sentences. OK, well, take care and see if you can get some writing done today all about pets. OK, bye.